Hi all, so uh, <clears throat> we're here to introduce you to the Parallax Stingray robot kit. Now we wrote uh, Parallax a few months ago and asked them to help us out with the product reviews and they were uh, helpful enough and happy to help us out actually. So they sent us out one of, uh, two robot kits, this being one of them, and uh, for product review. So what we're doing here is basically giving you the skinny on the Parallax Stingray. Now the Parallax Stingray is a basic kit, you know, it's not advanced out of the box. Um, it's easy to assemble, comes with all the components you need minus these pink sensors, but everything else you see here, it does come with out of the box. Does not come with any batteries, just so you know. Also, the nice thing about the Parallax kits, they come with their own tools. Good thing is you only need one, which is the Parallax screwdriver. Thank God all you need is this to build the entire unit. Now there are also, with this particular unit, it did come with an Allen key, so I take that back. Um, a lot of, uh, I'm just used to parallax kits where they normally just require their one screwdriver. Um, the Allen keys were used to screw it all in. Now, just to get you an idea of what it's like to work with this and to build it, <clears throat> it took us about maybe an hour, hour and a half max build time. Mind you, we could have done it faster, but we were recording the tutorial on how to build it as well, which you can see on our website at uh, www.rugcommunity.org. And look under tutorials, I believe it's how to build a robot part three, if I'm not mistaken. It's not out yet, but it will be out there soon. Now, um, when we first opened it up, it was kind of intimidating because we saw a lot of components. Um, when we went through the manual, we went through everything in the, in the manual that was included with the kit, and we found that, hey, you know what, it's very illustrated, this looks pretty simple. Sure enough, it turned out to be simpler than we thought. One of the best things that we noticed about it, let's exclude these ping sensors for now, is that there was only three cables to connect. One, two, and three. Your your power, your left, and your right DC motors. DC motors are mounted inside the unit itself, and they power each one of the wheels. Um, the other nice thing that we noticed about the kit after we were done assembling it is that it comes with these nifty little handles. Makes it easy to pick this up, move it around, do whatever we need to do. A lot of robot kits do not come with this. It's kind of like an extra, but in this case, it makes perfect sense. Otherwise, you're going to wind up always having to carry this and it's going to be a little awkward for you to carry it. Um, everything was very easy to mount. came with all the things that we needed. Nothing was missing. Nothing was broken. Now, let's, let's kind of run down really quick on how this robot's designed. So basically, it's just an aluminum black frame. Okay, The top and the bottom are both identical. That means that you can mount these things internally if you want to and have this just clean as a whistle on the outside. Um, the other thing is that there are these, sen these uh, panels on the sides here. There are a total of seven. Uh, basically, one for each motor mount, and then these are actually for sensors. So you can go ahead and mount additional sensors like we did here. You can mount them on the back as well. The other thing to note is only have two wheels. That's it. So you wonder, how does it keep its balance? Well, all the weight and the way that this is designed, basically all the weight comes back here. It's not going to tilt over easily because, as you can see, it just wants to come back. Um, Basically, these can be alternated, so they can move forward, backwards, and, or independently from each other once you program them to do so. And you can see it easily rolls around. Now, you might be thinking, is it rolling around that easy because um, I'm on a smooth surface? Yes and no. The truth is, if I was on a smooth surface, those back wheels wouldn't be spinning. The key is in this back wheel. Notice this back wheel spins easily and freely. There's nothing controlling it. The other thing to notice, if you're new to these, is that these actually spin sideways also. So all of these are independent and they're on their own little, uh, I guess, axle of some sort, and they spin around. So that's what allows it to do this spinning motion uh, like this. That makes this an easy platform for you to program and to build. Uh, we've, we've done a lot of building for robots and uh, robot kits, and we found that you know one of the harder problems sometimes is the locomotion. In this case, two motors, you can't go wrong with that. Um, the other thing is that uh, Parallax is known for simplicity and they're, they're you know, making things very straightforward. Cabling was a, sma a, it was a snap. Uh, there's, only four, there's only three cables really to wire up. The power, which is obvious and it's clearly marked on the propeller board. And each motor, which is also clearly marked on the propeller board, color coded and in the manual exactly right. Um, now what they actually did is, since this is an experimentation kit or research kit, they also include a breadboard. Now, for our purposes, for our demonstrations, we're not going to be using the breadboard that much. Um, but you can actually, it's an option for you to mount it or not. Uh, they don't say so in the manual, but for us, it's an option. We don't need to mount it. Um, 
because we can just flat out connect all of our sensors and do all of our things that we want to do and accomplish with any of these videos straight to the propeller board itself. The other nice thing is that it, you know, you'd think that, okay, they have their own proprietary board. They're not like an Arduino. They're not like a Axum or something like that. So how is it like? Well, our next step is we're going to actually program against this. We're going to download some things onto the microcontroller. But you can quickly notice that there's a USB port right on the front there, or on the back, sorry. Now that's a mini USB, and that'll plug straight into your computer, and you can just download whatever you need to do right away, and it makes it a very easy platform to work with. Again, if you plan on, uh, if you're a first-time robot builder, and you're not familiar with how robots are, I highly recommend this kit, simply because you can easily expand it. You can easily take these boards, mount them on the inside here, inside the actual robot, and leave this bare, so you can put whatever else you want on top, or put additional things inside. One thing to note is how do you get inside? You know, everything is screwed in. There's no way to get in there. And, uh, you know, that was one of the first things we were scared about. But what we quickly noticed is when we started mounting these ping sensors in the front, we had built the unit to the T following the instructions, and then we we're left with this additional sensor kit going, wait a minute, we built this thing, now we have to mount these things. Now what do we do? Well, the nice thing is that each panel takes four screws, two on the top, and two on the bottom. So what did we do? We took out the two front ones here and the two bottom ones there. We took out the panel and with that we were able to mount all of these sensors. Now having said that, you can easily get inside the unit through the back as well. So you don't have only have to go through the front, you can go through the back sides. You can take out this panel here and that could be used to go ahead and mount or replace your batteries do some more wiring inside, or if you just not want to take it out, you can go ahead and mount more sensors on the back here. One of the things I highly recommend for this kit, now this kit, along with many of the parallax kits, they usually come with just a, uh, a standard AA battery pack that you're going to, basically a battery, a battery holder. Um, what I recommend is that you kind of skip out on that and you upgrade to something different. Something like, uh, if you go to Radio Shack, you can pick up some of these RC uh, 9.6 volt uh, battery packs. Now, one thing you have to make note is check your voltage because this battery pack down here only takes about, uh, let's say it's six double A's versus one of these battery packs has four equivalent double A's. So you want to make sure that you have the right voltage and you're not going to fry your board. Um, you can easily go to, to Radio Shack or any hobby store and find the right battery pack for this. Just check out the manual, look at the voltage, right? You know what's the max and the min, and make sure you're within that range. The reason why I say that is because if you don't do this, you're going to wind up blowing through batteries left and right, especially during programming time. Um, you know, just uh, I've had some robot kits where I've blown through two of these battery packs uh, in the first shot, just programming and playing around with it and getting used to it. Again, always have these, keep them charged up. This is fairly, if you can go with this battery pack, it's about you know fifteen dollars versus online, it's about thirty dollars, and it comes with a charger. So can't uh, can't emphasize that more. And uh, that's about it. <clears throat> Now, what I think about it, you know, uh, one of the nice things I want to mention about all the parallax kits, including this one, is that they come with all the tools you need to build it. So you don't need to go out to the store and buy anything else. You don't, you know, need to have a, an extensive tool set. Uh, basically, it'll, it'll come with one of these screwdrivers. So nine times out of ten, they'll include the parallax screwdriver, which is basically a Phillips and a flathead, and it's like a, you know, you can store it in your pocket. Um, you can build the entire kit with one of these. Now in this case, you're going to need this, plus there's two Allen keys that come with the uh, two Allen key wrenches that come with the unit, and it's basically for screwing in these these hex uh, screws here. And we found it fairly simple to screw in, and it came with everything, and everything worked fine. Nothing stripped. The quality of everything is very good. Aluminum, black, all the screws are great. Not to mention these two handles here are awesome. Um, having these handles here makes the robot easy to pick up and move around unlike other robot kits where you kind of fumble around and you're kind of trying not to get in the way of things. This one, just pick it up and go, which is a nice thing about it. Well, that concludes this quick review of the Parallax Stingray kit. We hope you enjoy it. Um, we highly recommend you check out the robot tutorials on how to build robots and uh, this one will be debuted in How to Build a Robot Part 3, which is talking about, uh, I think it's Part 3. Um, if not, just check out the tutorial section, you'll be able to find it listed. And uh, that concludes our uh, review. Take care and have a good night.